Um, I wanted to give you a quick review on the RMR. There's a lot of videos out there, but none of them really capture uh, the essence of the weapon sight. Uh, what most of us want to see is what a dot looks like or a good representation of the dot. And also, there's really not a good uh, nighttime footage of the dot, and I'm trying my best to give you that good footage and a good representation of what that looks like. The Trajican RMR is a weapon uh, sight that's mostly designed to uh, be a close quarter battle. Uh, optic for the military's uh, ACOG. It mounts to the ACOG via their own mount and it provides the soldier, the foot soldier, with both a close quarter bottle, optic, and a long range um, scope that you know just co witness with each other in one frame. The optic itself is made out of aluminum and this model in particular doesn't use any batteries. This is the um, Trigicon model that has Trigicon inserts on it so they provide its own life for up to 12 years. Once the light goes dim or runs out, you can actually send it into Trigicon and they'll replace the uh, Trigicon uh, insert and bring it back to you with a new uh, 12 years of service life. The light gathering diode on the top adjusts the dot uh, brightness depending on the room lighting situation that you're in, whether you're daylight, nighttime, uh, inside a well-lit room or a very dim lit room. It's going to adjust the dot so you can always get that perfect dot based on their specs. The dot itself, I'm going to try to show you a good representation of it. It's an orange dot, so you can see it there in front of the front sight. And so you can see there's a really uh, shiny green tint to the lens, with actually, you can see as a shooter, but that's what actually helps the dot uh, show. The dot comes, the light from the dot comes from back here from the optic and it reflects through the lens on the front. Okay, the actual dot size that you see as a shooter is almost twice as large as the one you see here on the video okay the camera lens doesn't capture those dot as we do with our eyes so it's just kind of showing a neatly formed dot here uh, the dot is actually almost twice as large and very easy to pick up it's not as neatly rounded as this is uh, maybe it's my eyesight it has a little bit of glare that flakes um, off of some of the size so the dot as it goes around it could be that I need new contacts uh, maybe somebody with perfect vision can see the dot for what it is as you can see here on the video the dot itself has been very reliable for me okay there are people that are saying that mounted on this weapon there's uh, strikes from the cases as it ejects I kind of did a slowdown on some of my videos that I have and I haven't seen any of that happening it does however get some fouling from the ejection port as it cycles back and forth, it's a little bit of um, you know burnt uh, powder that falls on the lens, but nothing that can obstruct your uh, vision of the dot at all. So I mean, a little wipe down will clean that out. That takes only a second, so it's really irrelevant. Uh, the sight is made to last. It's really made for the military, like I said, to mount on ACOX, and ACOX are some of the best battle um, optics that the military has nowadays. So it's tough. It's it's reliable and tough, and it's backed by a Trigicon's warranty, which is actually pretty good can't really complain the optic itself has served a really good purpose for me has been very reliable it makes the gun much easier to shoot and to me much more accurate it's a lot easier to pick up than the three dot size set arrangement that this gun has and I just I really like it I wanted to share with you all so that y'all can see it a lot of people are out there in the market buying these guns and I really recommend the Trigicon RMR versus the doctor side which is a battery power I believe this is going to give you a more reliable longer lasting uh, service life and the battery one batteries run out you know it's just it's just normal that's just how it works and if you're in the middle of a shit and you really got no access to batteries now you have a weapon site that is down i figure the battery power will be more suitable for competition or something like that which will actually not require you to depend on it as much as you will this this is dependable the rmr uh, with the trajectory insert is more dependable to me than batteries are okay guys i'm gonna leave you with some nighttime footage of the dot and what it looks like and go into a little more detail and explain so it. bear with me in the camera quality I'm going to show you what the dot looks like in the dark uh, in this room where I'm at right now I cannot see my hands in front of me I cannot see the gun at all the shape the sign nothing not a color anything I cannot see anything in front of me there's very small dim amount of light coming in through the light through the windows I have blinds on on the windows so there's still a small amount of light filtering through the blinds and um, as you can see I'm about to show you the optic is still very capable of maintaining a light source the light gathering diode still manages to capture light and shows the dot bright 
So as you can see, the dot stays pretty well lit compared to the uh, front side and much brighter than the uh, front Trigicon night sights, which is actually better than the night sights because this allows you to acquire targets in the dark much easier. You can pick up on the dot a lot easier than you can the sights. And as you can see, even though the video quality is not the best, you can still make out the dot. And the dot itself is actually much bigger. It looks much bigger in real life or in person than it does to the camera. The filters on the camera lenses are not as adequate as your eyes, so your eyes can pick up the light of the dot much better. The dot looks on, on this darkness about twice the size of the front sight. Also, pretty neat, this, um, this optic has a small writing here on the side. It depicts uh, First Thessalonians, sorry if I got that wrong, uh, chapter 5, verse 5, which uh, reads in the King James Bible, You are all children of light and the children of the day. We are not of night nor of darkness. Which is, you know, it's a pretty cool um, burst to have on such an optic. I don't know if I did go over or not, but the adjustments for elevation and windage are right here on the side and on the top. Easy to get to, a flathead screwdriver or a penny uh, does the job very well. This has very um, solid or very uh, good rotation knobs. It gives you feedback every time you flip it, you get a solid click. So it's, that makes it a lot easier when you're sighting the weapon. It also says made in the USA right on the side of it. That's something that we should all be proud of. Uh, once again, this is a Trigicon RMR 7MOA dot. Thanks for watching, guys.